Holy shit. What a game. Man, oh my god. I didn't think the Saints had it in them, to be honest. I didn't think it was possible for the Saints to drop 48 points this season, let alone this game. Um, wow. Uh, we got to talk about all the aspects of this game. But if you haven't already, make sure you drop a sub. We're trying to hit 100 by the end of January. So please do that if you can. I would be great appreciated so first we're going to talk about um the play calling this game there was probably about one play call that i really didn't agree with and that was a draw on on third and sixth but besides that man it was near flawless from both sides of the ball um early on the falcons got a couple of Good plays, good touchdowns off of busted coverages, and uh, after that, it was near clean for um, all aspects of the game for us. Uh, we forced Desmond Ritter to throw another interception to um, Alante Taylor for his second of the season, and second in a row. Um, Carl Granderson did amazing in the run game. We didn't get too much pressure. Uh, this game, which kind of worries me, but <clears throat> the result was exactly what we wanted to see. Um, I think Jonathan Abram played an amazing game. Demario Davis played a great game, aside of some missed tackles. Paul Sadebo should have had another interception, and he played incredible today. Isaac Yadam played incredible from the portions of the game that he was in. Tyron Matthew damn near had a pick six, but <clears throat> but it was a uh, short, and Jamal Williams got his first touchdown of the season off of a garbage time handoff on the one yard line, in a fake victory formation. To put a stamp on that game, and uh, safe to say Arthur Smith was really mad with what happened there, and uh, he. Mm, he let Dennis Allen know about it after the game. <laughs> it was funny seeing how dirty we did the Falcons. Um, moving on to the offensive side of the ball. That was 100% the best performance of the season from Derek Carr. 22 for 28. Which I believe is about a 90, or not 90, 78.6 complete completion percentage excuse me 264 yards and four touchdowns an amazing game Kendra Miller his first game back and his first game really as the number one guy even though he really wasn't the number one guy he split carries about 50 50 split between him and Jamal Williams but every carry he got he treated it like it was his last and he did absolutely incredible all game not a single play where he was stopped behind the line of scrimmage, which is something that we had seen from Jamal Williams and even Alvin Kamara a lot throughout the season. So, bright future ahead for Kendra Miller, hopefully. Um, Taysom Hill did amazing throughout the game. He was really involved in the receiving game early, and throughout the rest of the game, he put together some big runs. The Falcon Killer is back. Shout out to Taysom Hill. Uh, Rashid Shahid made a, an incredible play off a deep ball that shouldn't have been caught, but it was, so huge play for Rashid Shahid. Chris Olave made an amazing play in the same situation, bobbled off of Clark Phillips' helmet and caught the ball and controlled kind of shades of what he did in Minnesota um, against against Minnesota early in the season with Jameis at QB. And then we got to talk about A.T. Perryman. Look, I love Michael Thomas, but it seems like it's getting near that time to move on from him. And it seems like what that's what they're gearing up to do. And I feel like A.T. Perry's game today made that decision a lot easier for um, the GM, for the higher-ups, and then also some of the fans. Um, A.T. Perry played incredible, and all three of his catches were in contested situations. So... Shout out to A.T. Perry if my if that is Michael Thomas's 
last season as a Saint, I would say we got a damn good replacement when it comes to those contested catches. Uh, Juwan Johnson had a pretty good game as well. He was key in getting some first downs. Uh, Lynn Bowden played fullback, um, or played H-back, like, four snaps, five snaps this game, and each time led to a huge run by Kendra Miller, so that could be something that we use in the future. Um, absolutely insane play calling today by Pete Carmichael. He could have potentially saved his job, and if he starts calling plays like he has been these last two or three games throughout the entire season, I am 100% good with keeping him as OC. Now, if that was Pete Carmichael's last game, which I wouldn't put it past Mickey Loomis to fire the guy who just hung 48 on a top 10 defense, um, shout out to him, whether this is the end of the season or not, um, he put up an incredible game against a team that nobody likes. Everybody, every Saints fan hates them. It's in our nature. And he just hung 48 on them. And that's amazing. Uh, Blake Groupie did incredible today. I would say even, I'd go as far as saying that Lou Headley did pretty good uh, today, even though he's not the best punter in the world. Uh, but yeah, man. That was an incredible game, and if that was the way to end the season, man, I, I like it. But I'm not getting my hopes up for next year yet. I still remember that this team is ran by Dennis Allen. And maybe all Derek Carr needed was time to get together, to get it to work. Because his last five games, he's thrown two or more touchdowns in, and his last five games, he has like 14 touchdowns to two picks. So... We'll see. I think it took Derek Carr some time. But we got a much harder schedule ahead of us. And Dennis Allen, I don't know if he's ready for that. But we'll see. I'm still not sold on Dennis Allen, but Derek Carr, I think he should be okay in the future. I think he isn't the guy for the future, but I think he's the guy for the present. I think we can sit through one more season with Derek Carr and... Who knows, if we're in a good draft position, we can draft someone to replace him. But yeah, all around, super fun game to watch. Um, I love how we dropped 50 fucking points on the Atlanta Falcons, because no matter whether the game is pointless or if it means everything, that is a sight I love to see. So yeah. Thank you all for joining. If this is the end of the season, uh, thank you to everybody who, who's watched, who's subscribed, who's put up with the rambling that I've, you know, done throughout the weeks. I appreciate you all. More content coming through the off season and the playoffs. With that being said, I'm signing out. Peace.